Hello there, people of the world, and welcome to today's episode of Coffee Chats with Jax. Pretty much this whole year I've had the mindset of I need to bust my butt working like as hard as I can because this has been the first time of me doing this like fully creative career without some kind of like side hustle. So it's been hard. It's been stressful. It's been overwhelming at times. Sometimes I feel like I have so many huge ideas in my mind of things that I want to do and accomplish and say to the world, but but doing that when it's all up to me pretty much. I don't like have a team of people that I work with. I wish I did. Someday I really hope to have that. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love what I do. I mean, this is all I want to do. I have so many dreams and visions that I would love to take these videos and my books and stuff too. The biggest hurdle for me lately has been that I have been forgetting to rest. Like if I'm not hanging out with friends, then I have to be in a coffee shop working, like constantly. And I think that there's a lot to say for that that's good. Like hustle is good when you're working towards a goal and when you're not being lazy and just watching Netflix all day or just literally sitting on the beach all day every day, which is sometimes what I want to do. It's good to work hard is what I'm saying. It's good to push yourself to follow your dreams. But the way that I have done it recently has been kind of like to a no end and it gets draining. And like, I don't know what it is about Los Angeles, but being here, sometimes I feel like I have to be like, keeping up. Like I have got to hustle constantly. I can't really take a break unless it's to spend time with people that I'm thankful for that, but that's kind of like my only out here. In a way, maybe I'm even like comparing myself to people. Maybe I'm trying to keep up with other people doing what I'm doing or doing things that I think are bigger than what I'm doing and I want to get to their level and whatnot, but I'm forgetting to just rest and stop. And so I was in Colorado last week. I didn't really say much about going there. It was for a few different personal reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is that I just needed a detox, I think, of LA. I needed a rest. I needed a place where I don't feel the need to keep up. It was kind of like a timeout. It's weird because being back there, it's kind of like the only place that I feel like I can do nothing and it'd be okay. And I think that I needed that. But it brought me to this place in my head of like, I want that to be a part of my life. I need a better rhythm with rest. As human beings, we are created in a way where we have to take breaks. I don't mean this in a religious, lawful whatever way in the slightest bit. But there's a reason that Sunday's supposed to be like a Sabbath day. It's not because if we don't rest on the Sabbath, if we don't rest on a Sunday, we are going to hell or we are wrong or we messed up. Or That's not what it is. I just think that we were intentionally created in a way that we need to take breaks. That's the only way this stuff is sustainable. I don't want to sound religious here, but I just want to say for your humanity, for your mental health, because I'm going to be doing this. I would love to start practicing taking an actual day during the week just picking any day to not do any work at all. And that's tough for me because a big part of my work is like on social media. And I've been wanting to take a break from social media for so long because I think it can get toxic. I don't think it's healthy to constantly know what everyone else is doing all the time. I don't think we were meant to live that way. I don't wanna know when you're hanging out with who and what you're doing 24 seven. I don't wanna know because life could be going so great and I could be so content. And then you open up social media and you see someone's post and it's instantly not good enough. My life is instantly not as good as this person's life who is now backpacking across Europe. Or say, for example, I'm on vacation in, uh, I don't know, San Diego, and I'm so content and happy. And then I open up my Instagram and I see that Susie is on vacation in Australia. And instantly where I'm at is not good enough. And that could just be me. I don't know but it's a problem and I don't like it. And so I don't think we're meant to know what everyone else is doing all the time. We're not meant to, to be able to compare ourselves on that level of intimacy into someone's life every single day. Social media is incredible. It changed my life. There's so many positive things to it that I'll talk about in another video because this video is not meant to be about social media, but because of the negative parts about it, I really, really want to be able to take breaks. I think what I'm gonna start doing is taking a day off during the week to just completely unplug from social media and unplug from work. So I'm gonna do it on Sundays because it's just what makes sense to me and it's normal. And I wanna challenge you guys watching this video to pick a day and do that as well. Whether it's unplugging from social media, if that's a thing for you, like for all I know, you guys are super healthy and social media is not a problem for you at all. If so, 
I applaud you. But if it is a problem, maybe we could just take Sundays off together or maybe we can, I don't know, whatever is hard for you and you feel like you need a break from, whatever you feel like you need to take away for a, a day to feel restful, whether that's work, whether that is school work, I, I don't know, whatever that is for you, I just think it's really gonna start to help us become healthier, more stable human beings, at least for me. So I'm gonna start doing that because I think that we were created to need to take a break. Whether that means spending time with your family, whether that means spending time with your friends, whether that means being alone in your apartment all day, that's fine. Whether that means going to the beach, whether that means going on a hike, we need it. You guys, I love you so much. I really appreciate you watching my videos and caring about what I have to say. But I love connecting with you guys, so please, like, let's keep this conversation going. I love you and I will talk to you guys next week.